house, my friends. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Say hello, Raven. Do you want to smell? Do you want to smell? I... I have an amazing video for you guys today. I hope that you like it. I've never done something like this before. Let's just do morning announcement first. Before we get into today's video, please make sure that you hit like and subscribe. Maybe you've been binge watching my videos and you just forgot to hit that subscribe button. Welcome to the community. I also have YouTube memberships, which you can check out. And today I just released new merch. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It has this little Osamani yeah. logo on it that my friend Sarah created. And it's amazing. You can check it out at the link in the description, the second link in the description. But let's let's get into today's video. I'm really excited. And I kind of like filming downstairs. Do you guys like it? Do you think the aesthetic is cute? I think it's cute. Also today I'm wearing my Nightborn bun again. I think it's adorable. Okay, I'm just gonna bring it in and then we'll look at it together. Are you excited? I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, so this is a fiddly fig. If you didn't know, now you know. This baby was my friend Tori's and she actually just moved. She no longer lives in Idaho. And she was like, yo, I was wondering if I could give you my plant. Uh, her name is Gloria. And I was like, okay, what kind of plant is it? And she's like, it's a fiddle leaf fig. And I was like, oh my God, I've always wanted a fiddle leaf fig. But as you all know, they are so expensive. So I've never had one. And she's like, well, I can't take it with me because it's too long of a drive and I think it would die. <laughs> so she asked if she could rehab or well, gift Gloria to me and uh, if I would, if I would keep her. And I said, yes. Yes, I want your fiddle leaf fig, 100%. So today in this video, we are going to be repotting Gloria. We're going to be cleaning Gloria, and we're gonna be we're gonna be fixing Gloria up because she's a little rough around the edges. Gloria is five years old. My friend Tori bought her as a little sapling, like this big, like very small plant. And she's just grown and grown and grown over the last couple of years. You can see these are some old leaves that weren't doing so well. Apparently, um, she had a spot where she actually thought that Gloria might die. But then Tori put Gloria in the window and you can see all of the growth that has happened since then. No more atoliation, just like good, I mean, really beautiful, glossy, shiny leaves. I don't even see any like edema on it. So I'm so excited, but we're gonna be rehabbing this fiddly fig and we're introducing her into our collection. I have a pot for it and everything. We're gonna do the whole repotting process. I wanted to do this last night when she brought it over, but I wanted the lighting to be nice. I wanted you guys to be able to like really see how beautiful this fiddly fig is. I'm just so excited. This is gonna be fun. Now I'm gonna be doing something actually plant related. <laughs> Let's just do it, I guess. So this is the pot. I'm going to be potting it up in. It doesn't look super cute unless you put the holder on it. This is the pot holder. I'm pretty sure I got this at Lowe's for like $15. This is like double the size of the current like root ball that the plant is currently in. I'm pretty sure she never repotted it. So I'm pretty sure this is its first time being repotted in five years. She also had this big bag of black old soil, which is my favorite potting soil. So that helps me out just like tremendously because I currently don't have any potting soil. So we're gonna go ahead and put some soil in at the very bottom. Ooh, it smells like dirt. Give it a shake. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the big plant and just put it right in there. This is what it's in right now. Apparently the pot that it was in before was a pot that belonged to her family, so she couldn't give it to me, which is totally fine because it probably needed to be repotted anyways. Yeah, this guy's root bound as heck. So this is what the roots look like. Pretty root bound. Uh, I was worried we might see some pests but I don't see any actually. And it actually looks like it was pretty recently watered. I'm, I'm only gonna water it, not because it needs it, but because we're going to need to kind of like compact the soil a little bit. Now we're gonna pour some dirt and fill kind of like the sides around. This tree's leaning a little bit, so I'm actually like gonna lean it a little bit back while I'm doing this. So that way it like, it's not like leaning so far forward. I'm gonna push that in. This soil I think is relatively new too. It's still kind of moist from the bag. You can just tell. Okay, so now that we have the soil kind of in here, I'm gonna go wash my hands and then I'm gonna get my little watering can. I 
I swept up most of the dirt on the floor. And here she is. Before, I'm pretty sure she was actually still in her nursery pot, which is pretty crazy to keep a plant in there for that long, but the plant looked pretty like pretty ready for a transfer. Now, some of you are probably like, Ashley, you didn't bring up the root ball at all when you repotted. That's like kind of weird. One of the things that I've personally realized is that when you break up a root ball, not only are you disturbing all of the roots, but you're actually breaking out a lot of it. There's a lot of people who, when they repot their plants, and again, there's no right or wrong way to do things. It's just about like, how much you want to disrupt your plant's growth cycle. A lot of people like to break up the root ball and completely remove all of the old dirt from the plant. And when you disrupt the roots like that, there's a huge possibility that your plant, whoops, sorry, Gloria, that your plant can actually lose leaves because now it no longer has the amount of roots it needed to sustain itself. Because it basically completely halts your plant's growing cycle until it reestablishes all of those roots all over again. What I like to do is pretend like it's a plug, taking it out of one pot, putting a soil on the bottom, putting it in there and filling in the soil around the sides. That way you keep the integrity of the actual plant plug and all you're doing is just giving it more room to grow. You don't actually disrupt any of the plant's growth. This is just the way that I really like to do it and I find the best results for me. <laughs> in the long run. She uh, looks great from this side, but you'll see she is a, definitely a leaner and she's definitely a there was my window kind of plant. Uh, from the back, actually, you can really, really, really tell. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna put her directly in a window uh, where she's gonna get bright light and we're gonna put her with this side facing the window so that hopefully the tree kind of evens itself out. And if it doesn't even out, then we'll just turn it around and we'll just let it be a one facing, a one way facing plant. Uh, but now that we're done with repotting, I'm going to get a watering can and water the uh, base of the plant. That looks so pretty from that angle. Just give it one more, just to make sure we've really soaked it. We want to settle the soil. Right now you'll see it's still kind of dusty. So we really just want to settle that soil in there and uh, give it a good chance. I'm actually gonna grab a chopstick and aerate it to kind of give it some, some ways to kind of get through the, the soil. And I'm only aerating it around the sides. Normally I don't really recommend doing this because if you end up like puncturing a main root, it can make the plant really unhappy. So you can see I'm only doing it around the sides where I'm pretty certain that there's not gonna be any roots yet because I just repotted it. I'm gonna water it one more time just to really make sure that we do get the water going down all the way. Oh, there we go. Now the water is sinking all the way through really fast. And normally I wouldn't recommend repotting uh, with just potting soil but the normal mix that this plant is in, it was super duper arid. I'm not worried about the water having a hard time getting through that area. Now we're gonna lift our pot and check and see if it feels heavy. We're just gonna make sure that it really does feel like we did water it and it does feel heavy. So we're gonna call that good for the pot part of this. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean the plant up. There's a good amount of dust all over the leaves. And I also wanna make sure that there's no pests. Since we are bringing this plant into our house, from a different person's house. We wanna make sure that everything is all good. I already checked the roots um, with you a second ago and we didn't see anything on the roots. So now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna check the leaves and the stem to make sure that everything is all good with our good pal Gloria here. Bro, she is so pretty. So I have a little paper towel that I got wet with warm water. Um, just warm water. I don't see any pests yet, so I don't feel like I need to use soap. Soap does work to help shine your plant, but I'm not really trying to shine it. There's just some of these old leaves that kind of look pretty gross. So I want to clean them up and I'm going to bring you in a little bit closer so you can actually see the leaf. So this is the first leaf and maybe it's not coming through on camera, but it will pretty soon. It's pretty pretty dusty. We're just gonna wipe it all off and make sure that the leaf is all good to go. The other thing is that when you do let dust build up on your plant's leaves, they, I have heard, will have a harder time photosynthesizing because there's something actually uh, blocking. And I don't think that this plant is having any issues because the top leaves up high are totally fine. But there is a, I mean, pretty significant amount of dirt, so we're just gonna keep on. Very delicately, fiddly fig leaves will snap off like, like nobody's business, so just be careful. I did have a fiddle leaf uh, once before. I had it for, I think, 
five or six months. It was one of the $30 ones at Home Depot. And I had it for a while until all of a sudden it just started losing its leaves one day, uh, just becoming a stump. And I left the stump in the pot just to kind of like let it be, you know, maybe it'll come back. And it did come back, but at that point I was gonna be moving and I didn't wanna like try taking care of a baby fiddly fig. So I actually sold it and it was the cutest little guy ever. If I can, if I can find a photo, I'll include it right here. If not, I'm sorry, I couldn't find it. This leaf is actually much dustier. Um, I don't really know if you're gonna be able to see, but it's just kind of like covered in dirt. So we're just gonna clean all that off. Five years old and this is your first time getting a little leaf wash and getting a repot. <laughs> all right, I think that that looks a little bit better. I'm gonna wipe down the bottom of the leaf as well, uh, just to make sure we didn't miss like any spider mites. All that cracking you're hearing is coming from the dead part of the leaf, sorry. All right, we have one more lower leaf that has some dirt on it. I'm just gonna clean that bad boy. I just love that she didn't give up. Like the plant was going through a really hard time, wasn't really growing in at all. Looked like it was gonna die. Like she sent me a photo of it at one point and it had like literally only these like two baby leaves that are under here. <laughs> okay, I think that I think that those leaves look a lot better. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to just like wipe down the top leaves even though they don't necessarily look too bad. I'm gonna flip to the clean side of my little wipe. I'm just gonna quickly go over these top leaves right here. Just get any and all the dust off of them. Please leave me all of your ficus tips down in the comment section. I am very interested in seeing what you guys have to say about ficus um, and some things that you've learned from having them. Gloria, you're one shiny girl. So far I've seen no pests, which is just perfect. So, oh, I'm so excited. So that is how tall Gloria is in her full glory. Here's me standing next to her. She is in fact taller than me. So yeah, this is Gloria. She's gonna be living in my house. I'm gonna probably take her upstairs because I do get the brightest light up there. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Let's go put Gloria in her new spot. I have the perfect spot. Okay, so see that spot right there? There's a little spot behind my couch uh, that has, I think, enough space for me to put Gloria right there. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. It gets super bright light in the morning and then it gets strong light throughout the afternoon. It won't get good evening light. The only other spot I'm looking at is over here. This spot right here also gets really, really good light, like kind of all day long. But she said that Gloria liked it best when she was in the sun. So I think that the other spot will be better. Raven has already assumed the position. She's not gonna get enough light there. That is my fear. Will my monstera get enough light there? Cause that looks like a dark corner, but in the morning, like they get direct light. It's about noon 30 right now. So this like starting from six in the, well seven in the morning, technically 7.30 ish until like, I mean, you can see the sun just passed. That should be fine. I, I'm thinking I like it in that spot. It is possible I might just like get a grow light just to make sure because I really, really don't want to let Gloria wither way into nothing. Here is the lady up close. I just realized I never really showed you guys up close. She is regal. I really like her. I have wanted a fiddly fig that actually looks like a tree for so long and now we got one. And I think that she looks really nice. 
with the other plants. I actually scooted her like super hella far this way. Uh, so she's not as far close to the wall. She's gonna definitely get really, really good light now that she's right there and before she was over here. Now she's right there. Doesn't seem like it'd be a big difference, but I promise it is, so. I got a fiddle leaf fig, you guys. I didn't even have to buy it. No $100 spending on a ficus for me. Well, this is Gloria. She's gonna be my videos from now on. She's my new daughter. She is cute. She says hello. Uh, yeah, please, God, leave me your fiddly fig tips. I would love to uh, hear what you have to say about them. I'm concerned. I'm not gonna do Gloria justice. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and tweet me at Play Me Ashley. Follow me on Instagram at Play Me Ashley. I have merch that I just released today, brand new and old merch on Teespring, which is the second link in the description. And I have YouTube memberships as well, where we do a bunch of super duper fun, cool stuff. So you can join the YouTube memberships, join the family, and hopefully I will see you on the Discord. To this day, I've never kept a ficus alive, but I've also never had something as high stakes as one of my closest friend's plants who recently moved away. So maybe, maybe this will be the time. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next houseplant section. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.